Third quarter underway. The Bulldogs by 26 points. Liberatore, handball, was ineffective. Penny, McCartney going hard at ground level. Bounce. Shane Burse with the job on Byron Pickett. He got moved onto Pickett late into that, in that second quarter. Michael, I would rather Archer play up forward. You know, they need a marking player up there. Get Archer up forward, put McCartney in defence. Couple of Bulldogs fight over it. Eventually, Garlic kicks it forward. Gian Syracuse, manhandled by Makepeace. G's clever. Has support from Matthew Robbins. Will he draw the player and give it to McMahon? No, decides instead, driving it long to the goal square. Bandy up high. Ball still in play. Clayton. Pressure coming from Brown, and he did well, Brown, in the end, to force a boundary throw in. And Motlop did well to uh, ensure that Robbins had a kick. He didn't overcommit on him, otherwise Robbins would have handballed over his head. He forced Robbins to kick from 52 metres out. Archer hurt himself in that marking contest too. Very ginger off the ball. As Stevens clears for the Kangaroos. Takes the ball outside the defensive 50 to Harvey. He's not well at all, Archer, off the ball. In fact, he might have done a, a groin or something like that. McCartney. Pickett. He's kicked five. Not a great kick as Penny takes the mark. Rowan Smith. No short. Anthony Stevens has played 43 minutes of a possible 67. That makes sense. He's coming off that knee reconstruction, so he'll probably play 70% of the game. Bartlett goes back to Smith as the doctor comes out to speak to Glenn Archer. Up the middle go the Bulldogs. That's a good mark. Taken there by Motlop. Kicks laterally. Shannon Grant, who's been quiet. You just know that a lot of kangaroos can lift, Michael. You know, Grant and King and Simpson haven't played as they normally do. Just the fifth possession for Grant. Kick towards McCarm Porter. And he's paid it, I think. He's paid the mark, yes. Umpire Woodcock getting across to the scene very quickly. This is where Archer hurt himself. Pretty solid knock to the hip, I think. Yeah. Kick inside, attacking 50. Chance for Simpson, dribbles it towards the goal square. Clayton can't keep it in. Boundary throw in. Disposals yeah. per goal, Michael. Kangaroos 24.8. At one stage of the game, they were up at 30, so uh, they're being far more direct. Jones. Now a chance for Ben Robbins. Grant was held. That was Shannon Grant. And... No free kick, boundary throwing. Brett Harvey off for the Kangaroos. Uh, Sinclair on, Harvey getting some instructions on the phone. Kangaroos deep into attack. They need the first goal. Taken by Bartlett. Releases Johnson. Kick was poor. Gave Motlop every possible chance at the back. They just can't kick the ball high to McMahon. He's only a uh, small, light player. Loose player is Clayton in space at half four, drives it in low and hard. And Rocker marks in front of his face. Chris Grant coming on. And McMahon coming off. Uh, McMahon was outmarked twice by Motlop. And this is good play by Shane Clayton. Straightens up and puts it in the path of the leading Sav. And Sav just has to kick this. Look of concentration on the face of Severia Rocker. Hasn't kicked a goal, and this is his first deliberate shot. Four minutes in third term. Leans back and caresses it through for a goal to the Kangaroos. So the Kangaroos draw first blood in the second half. Margin back to 20 points. And Rob, they're certainly well and truly in this game of football. Well, they've come back pretty well. Look, it's only early uh, stages in this third quarter, but a couple of pleasing things. Porter's uh, taken a mark and got a kick. Motlop's been steady across half-back, and Sav's been able to take a mark on the lead and kick a goal. So three or four good things for the Kangaroos. Big pack of players. Ball to the back. Alvey. Brad Johnson trying to control it. Can't. 
Clayton can. Anthony Stevens sweeps it out wide. Shannon Grant starting to get a couple of touches into the path of Simpson. He's got plenty of space at half forward, Adam Simpson. Wobbling kick, Rocker in the van. Barlett did well to keep his feet. Now a chance for McCartney. Within three minutes, and the margin back to just 14 points. And good reflex work there by Sav. Socket it through. McCartney battled really hard again to keep the ball alive. Adam Simpson pushing it forward. Simpson and Grant are starting to come back into the game. And I just think the experienced players, when the pressure's really on, they'll come to the fore. We saw the young Bulldogs early. They've started to drift out of the game. The experienced Kangaroos are starting to make their charge. The Kangaroos begin to make their run, as Robert Wall said. Croft. Alvey. Back inside 50 for the Dogs. There's Clayton. Kick it towards the boundary line. Will it stay in? No. Got exactly what he wanted, didn't he? He gained uh, 25, 30 metres, put the ball out of bounds. And Shane Clayton, kick for touch. Chris Grant into his back. Martin got the free kick for a, a hole in the ruck contest. In fact, it was a shepherd, said the umpire. And it's going to be taken by Harvey. So it's the Bulldogs by 14 points. Stevens receives the handball. Oh, almost a good mark to Penny. Has umpire paid it? He has. Thought it was over the line. Anyway, he squares it up to Bandy. Couldn't control it. Clayton. Motlock going backwards. Stevens. He's got Pickett on short. And he takes the mark. Long option is uh, Mark Porter. Pickett. Backward of centre wing. High kick at the back penny. Well, he's done very well in the air. His last possession was ineffective, but this time it's OK. Smith at half-back. Oh, he's got a loose player inside the centre square. Johnson, he wants to go. Now he does. Front of the centre square. Probing kick, and it gets to Alvey. They're so dangerous, their midfield players. When they get on the burst, they play on at all costs. And Mark Alvey, a chance to get one back for the Western Bulldogs. Terrific skill. We saw Rowan Smith come off half-back and find Johnson at half-forward. And as you called it, Johnson played on immediately, switched to the other side of the ground and found Mark Alvey in space. Good game from Alvey. 13 possessions. But the Bulldogs need this goal. Kangaroos have the only two of this third quarter. He'll kick from 40 metres. Across the face and hits the behind post. So disappointing effort from Mark Alvey. Could have been Archer who hit the behind post, well, Michael. It certainly gave a wobble. It is a behind, you're right. So margin, 15 points in favour of the Bulldogs. Ten minutes into this third quarter. Three behind so far to Mark Alvey in this game. David King. It. <laughs> David King, your heart's in your mouth, isn't it? You just never know what he's going to do. He gets it back. Almost run down as he looks for McCartney against Croft. McCartney kept his feet. Here's a chance for the Roos. He bangs it long. Simpson might get there first. If he picks it up, he's got an open goal. Oh, and he's missed the chance of a lifetime. It's a 14-point ball game at the moment. We've gone almost 12 minutes in his third term. He's bared. Oh, Simpson's free again. Yeah, he's looking dangerous, Simpson. Dishes off. Here come the Kangaroos. Harvey puts a foot on the gas. Breaks two tackles. Has another bounce. Harvey should kick a goal. <laughs> Magnificent play by the Kangaroos. Eight points the difference. Good play there. Simpson got it on and he backed himself, got past an opponent, had a couple of bounces, straightened up, and I think he's a little champion, Brent Harvey. 
And they're playing with a boldness now, the Kangaroos. King in the back 50 was bold, took opponents on. This fella's done it across half forward, and they are on the run. Jones. Ben Robbins, clever little turn. Motlop gives it almost back to Jones. Kick inside, attacking 50. Pickett's dangerous. Bartlett needed to keep his feet, but he was good enough at ground level. Burst. Cool for a youngster. Smith called out of it by Alvey. Now he gets to Johnson, just backward of the wing. Bulldogs need a goal. Probing kick, Hart couldn't quite hold on. Boundary throwing, half forward for the Bulldogs. So as we expected, the Kangaroos fighting back in the third quarter here at Colonial Stadium. Round two of AFL action. Hope you're enjoying it on Network 10. Did that very well, Trent Bartlett. As the ball's locked up at half forward. Another ball up. Pickett's got five for the Roos. The multiple goal scorers for the Doggies. Two each to Brown and Gian Syracusa. Harvey back in uh, defensive goal square for the Kangaroos. He's, he's after West and Libbers after Harvey. So a two on one. That suits the Kangaroos because they've got a spare player somewhere. Porter couldn't control it. He's had a very quiet night. Hahn smothered and that hurt Clayton. Oh, Ron Barassi used to tell us uh, if you smothered it never hurt. <laughs> I knew you couldn't believe him. So a throw in. It's the Bulldogs by eight points. Over the top, down towards Pickett, and the boundary throw in. Only three goals of the third quarter kicked by the Kangaroos. Scotty West has uh, sacrificed his own game to take Harvey out of the action. Porter again down to Ben Robbins. King, who's been prominent in this third term. Jones wobbles it forward. Rocker playing in front. Sab Rocker. 80 metres from goal. Wants oh. to take on Bartlett and does. Where will he go now? Not far. Hard. Campbell searching for Simpson. Good hard body by Johnson. King tries to crash his way through. Good tie up by Bartlett. Bounce. Sam just chewed off a little bit too much there, Rob. Yeah, they're playing uh, very boldly, though, and that's that's good for the Kangaroos. Chris Grant's gone to full back on McCartney, and Croft has gone to centre-half forward for the Bulldogs. Porter and Darcy. It's been a good duel. Now, there's a free kick. Now, we'll go to Porter for a push. Well, he'll struggle to make the distance. He's got McCartney in the goal square, and uh, Big Sav can't get back. Into the direction of McCartney. Grant, oh, clever. Just reeled it in with one hand. Did it nonchalantly. Brown to the obligatory booze of the Kangaroo supporters. I think it's his first touch in this third term. Hunter has it. Still inside defensive 50. And the Bulldogs have really struggled to find a way through in this third quarter. Kick to a big pack of players. Archer up in front. Couldn't take it. Clayton. Look away, Hamble missed the mark. Hahn, Archer, brilliantly done by Johnson. Four to the play. Nathan Brown is waiting. What can he muster here? Runs to 45. Drop putt on its way out of the four. And Rob, you can't help but think that incident just before half time had an impact on Nathan Brown. Well, he's got the crowd against him, and he's certainly been verbal by the Kangaroo players since this second half started. Brought it on himself. Make peace to King. Over the top to Stevens. Really had no one to kick to, so goes towards the boundary. Good percentage play, and we've got to throw in. Just Anthony Stevens playing across half back and uh, getting a lot of ball and setting up a lot of attacking moves for the Kangaroos. King and Liberatore off the uh, ball, and Liber's been sent off because that cut chin has just started to bleed quite heavily again.
throw in. In the ruck, it's going to be Rocker against Bartlett. Rocker got the front position, tapped it nicely over the shoulder, but it was Bulldogs there. Hard got run down. Hard at the ball was Dimitina. Smith got caught high by Stevens and gets the free kick. Rowan Smith. Penetrating kick to half forward. Baird missed it. Brown can't keep it in. We've got to throw in. 50 metres out from the Bulldogs' goal. They lead by eight points. And we've been going 19 minutes in this third term. As we see Smith once again cop one high. 19 minutes into the third quarter, and the Bulldogs have only scored one behind. Short boundary throw in Archer. Gets it through the congestion to Grant, who wobbles it to half forward. Hunter almost slaps it towards the boundary line. Baird keeps it in. Has a loose player going forward. Mark taken by Ben Robbins. She, I thought he might have been off. And he has the ball. Umpire Mitchell. Just indicating to Smith where the mark is. Kicks to the lead of McCartney. Fist from Grant. At the fall, Dimitina. Hasn't got much time. He's tackled brilliantly by Pickett. Soccer off the ground by Penny. Into the path of Grant. The captain kicks and gets to Johnson. Johnson has been a very good player tonight for the Western Bulldogs. It's got Bandy running towards the goal square and Croft also in that forward 50. He's had 12 possessions. Grant and now West. Well, West has been at full forward for the last six or seven minutes and his main role was to take Brent Harvey out of the action. Harvey, standing on the mark, was really instrumental in the Kangaroos getting going. And he's looking to put a little short pass in. See the nod of the head? <laughs> nod of the head. He's not confident. He'll need to kick it from 55 metres. Wobbles a kick up towards full forward. Pack of players make peace. Dimitina, right foot snap! <laughs> and the Western Bulldogs get their first goal of the third term. It's taken 21 minutes, but... Margin out to 14 points. Yes, and a very good snap by Dimitina. He spent a lot of time on the bench in this game. And Scotty West tried to set the ball up. He didn't really connect with the ball all that well. He knew he was outside his kicking distance. In the end, he tried to set it up. Wasn't a great kick, but Dimitina pounced on it. And that'll lift the spirits of the dogs. And there you are, nod of the head. That's communication. Don't have to talk, don't have to wave your arms. He said AFL football wasn't subtle. King puts the ruse back inside 50. From the side was Baird, couldn't mark. Hunter sees it safely over the boundary line. Just interesting that Chris Grant has been put back into defence for the Bulldogs. He started there, then he went forward, and now he's back. And it looks like Harrison coming back onto the ground for the Dogs. That's great. Hunter to Robbins. He'll switch to Dimitina, who's found some space. Doesn't get a very kind bounce, but it's a three-on-one here. So the Bulldogs eventually will win out with sheer weight of numbers. Gian Syracusa. Back inside 50 for the Dogs, looking better in the last few minutes. Johnson, member of the team of the century the other night. He banks it towards goal. It's a mark right on the line, is it? No, I'm past that play off. Oh, Gee, oh, that was dear. stiff. As King clears and does it well too. On the rebound, here come the Roos. Stevens will go inboard to Harvey. He's got some space. Brett Harvey looking to unload the handball. Instead touches it on the turf. Now on the left, Archer from behind. Great mark, Luke Penny. Best game I've seen Luke Penny play. And what about down the other end of the ground? Was it a mark? I think it might have been Harrison who'd just come on. But Luke Penny starring in defence for the Dogs. Matthew Roberts now has got nothing to kick to here. Threads a handball back to Penny. Brown is the short option. Still inside defence of 50. He'll need to get rid of it quickly, and he does. High to half forward. 
Croft forced to punch Harvey. Simpson gets it to make peace. And the Ruse building again through the midfield. It's got Archer long. Draws a player, Rocker. Grant back to make peace. High ball into the pocket. Robbins is the only player there. In fact, it was out on the full. So the Bulldogs can relieve the pressure again. Grant's down hurt again. Involved in that tackle on Sav Rocker. He's not well at all. So the Bulldogs bring the ball outside of their defensive 50. McMahon. To centre half forward. Darcy. The third fight takes the mark. Plays on the Dimitina. He's already kicked a goal in this quarter, but that's a shocker. As Nathan Brown says, why didn't you handball for me? Yeah, it's a lucky let-off for the Roos. Well, there you are. Chris Grant just bumped into Sav. He's hurt himself. So that hip of his is pretty fragile. Yes, he didn't hit too hard, so... Some doubt over whether Chris Grant will play too much more of this game. Sinclair in plenty of space. Able to take a couple of bounces. Rocker and Bartlett. Fist from Bartlett. King, oh, deft touch out wide, Sinclair. Kick around the body. Grant, Archer now looks as though he's playing up forward. Kick into centre half forward, Porter. It's a good kick. I don't know whether he can make the distance. And he really hasn't got uh, much in height in front of him. And Glenn Archer, that's a really good kick. Could have blazed away, but he saw Porter. Byron Pickett on the goal line. This could drop short. Kicks from just outside 50. Has it got the carry? There's only two players there. He clears the pack. Go to the Kangaroos. <laughs> Good on him. And Byron Pickett with a little bit of help from Byron Pickett. So the Kangaroos, the margin now back to eight points. And Rob, surprising the Western Bulldogs didn't have more players back because that kick was always going to be borderline. Well, you, if they had have had a Luke Darcy or a, or a Bandy back there, I suggest they would have got a hand on it. You know, to leave Byron Pickett there one out, and Byron Pickett used his strength to advantage to shepherd that through. It's an eight-point ball game as we near three-quarter time. Harvey, back inside 50 for the Roos. Grant from behind, can't take the mark. Here's a chance for Byron. He's kicked five. He blazes away. And it's out on the full. Had a bit more time than he thought. Yeah, he knows that he let a golden opportunity slip there. So the doggies have possession. Good to see Harrison back on. Yep. Onto the familiar left boot to half forward. Robbins was being held. Stevens. And then we've got to throw in. Geez, battling hard, Stevens. He's clearly lost a lot of pace at this stage, but he's only back for the Rico, Robert. It's a, I guess it's a credit he's out there this early in the well, year. Well, that's right. He's playing on hard at the moment. And in the engine room for the Kangaroos, they've all lifted Simpson, Harvey, King, particularly in this third quarter. Big pack of players around the football, and we'll get a bounce. Eight-point ball game here at Colonial Stadium. Approaching three-quarter time. Great comeback from the Kangaroos. They trail by 24 at quarter time and by 26 at half time. Dimitina trying to thread his way through the congestion. Couldn't another ball up. Haven't seen much of Spider Burton in this third term. And uh, that makes you think that Dennis Pagan could be saving him for the last quarter. Fresh legs with the Ruckman. Mickey Martin gets a hand in the back of the umpire there. Bulldogs in attack. Now it comes to Alvey. Kicks it long to the goal square. Brown goes down and ball over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. Just a... a, a... Well, if anything, Makepeace yeah. probably should have got the free kick there. Just a worry here because Mickey Martin's doing the ruck work against Darcy. Darcy should outclass him there. I really think Spider's just come onto the ground. I hope he can get down there for the kangaroo's sake to contest this. Mick's saying, quick, get here and help me. 
Close to three-quarter time. Martin, well, that's innovative, and he's kicked it out on the fourth. Well, he, he was under well, pressure. He's had to do the last four ruck contest, and he knew he was struggling. And when he saw Spider come on, he actually screamed at him and said, get down here and help me. Well, Nathan Brown has it. Yeah, come and help. Quick, quick. Spider. The spider's asleep. So the ball in the hands of Nathan Brown, who kicked two goals in the second quarter. One controversial one, where he showed the ball to the Kangaroos players from 40 metres. Drop putt on its way. He's a class player. Well, you can say what you like about Nathan Brown, but he really is a very, very talented footballer, and he kicks his third and gives the Bulldogs some breathing space as three-quarter time approaches. Yes, he's a class player, Nathan Brown, and uh, he's trying to whip up the support from the Bulldogs fans, and they love it. And you've got a feel for uh, Mick. Nathan Brown giving it to the crowd. Bulldog supporters, how about that? Get behind us, we need you. And he's done his bit. He's kicked three and set up another one. So, costly goal for the Ruse just before the three-quarter time break. Lucky. As Alvey gets up at the free kick. To half forward. Johnson. To the 50. Robbins. Good kicking skills. Bulldogs set each other up. Bulldogs have taken 16 contested marks in the game. Kangaroos have only taken four. Well, this is where his direct opponent, about an hour ago, kicked a magnificent torpedo goal. That was Byron Pickett. Maybe Matty Robbins can answer with one back of his own. Well, if he could kick this one, this would really hurt the ruse. At the moment, it's a 14-point ball game in favour of the Bulldogs. Robbins. Gee, it's a good-looking kick. That really hurts on three-quarter time. Talk about a quick change in momentum, Robert Walls. Well, it was all kangaroos, and the spirit's back. The life's back with the Bulldogs. That was a terrific goal by Matty Robbins, and uh, he, he knew what he was all about. He had to kick it 55 metres, drop punted it, and Nathan Brown got that one a couple of minutes back. They are not going to go down without a fight. So, Matthew Robbins has kicked a magnificent goal on the siren. Two goals in time on. See the Bulldogs lead the Kangaroos by 20 points.